here. Under this tree. Hurry up, we're late for Liberation Living Room! What, what are you doing under this tree? What? Right now? Hurry up, we're late! Oh my goodness! Come on. I gotta go! store our program called liberation living room is honored to have Nora Jones <laughs> hello what's up you guys okay so you want to sing a song yeah I'll sing a song All right. you guys want to hear a song yeah, yeah? Does anybody watch Sesame Street ever? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> you saw it? <laughs> um, you know, I sang this song with Elmo, but he changed all the words, so it was a different version, but this is the song. <laughs>
didn't come Yeah. And the first one, I think, applies to a lot of us musicians and people that think about playing music. And I guess it's, do you get nervous before you perform? I do sometimes. Yeah, I used to a lot more. And I think with practice, you know, it lessens some. But I think I get more nervous playing in small rooms uh, where I can see everybody's eyes, you know. That's yeah. always scarier than playing for a lot of people. Everybody's looking at you. Kind of like this. <laughs> I can see all of your eyes. When did you uh, realize that you wanted to sing? Um, I guess in church choir when I was about five. I was, I was singing louder than anybody in the choir. And everybody would look at me funny because I was enunciating all my words just like the teacher told me to. <laughs> I looked kind of like a weirdo, but that's okay. <laughs> it all worked out. Right. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to hear some questions from you, because we love questions. So I think we're going to start with, raise your hands really high, really high, as high as you can. Okay, if you got questions. Okay, let me see. Um, oh, we got Mr. Turtle. What do we got here? Um, what's your favorite kind of music to make? Wow, well, <laughs> I like all kinds of music. Um, I like simple music. Uh... I like country songs. I like old country songs. That might be my favorite. It changes every day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got here up front? Um, I've been really seen the Elmo. I have. <laughs> I sang with Elmo. And um, he was really nice. He said to tell you hi. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, what, do, what do you have? I think of the music well I guess it just depends it depends on what mood you're in and then sometimes you're in a sad mood you want to hear sad music or quiet music and if you're in a happy music happy mood you want to hear music you can dance to you know so it just depends on what kind of mood you're in um do you want to ask a question okay what's your question Thank you. Thank you. That's a good question. Yeah, that's good. Okay, um, we got a funny bird. What's a funny bird? I was wondering how old were you when you first started. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, funny bird. Um, I started playing music when I started singing in the church choir when I was about five. And I started taking piano lessons when I was seven. Are any of you seven? Any of you five? All right. <laughs> How many of you all want to play music or be in the arts? Raise your hands really high. Okay, because you can all do it for sure. You can. Okay. It's super fun. I, I recommend it. <laughs> um, Barry, did you have a question? Well, uh, I, it's kind of a complicated question, but uh, <laughs> you play jazz, right, Donna? Yeah, sometimes. So, uh, is there a big difference between jazz and blues? Are they the same? Or ah. Which that, came first? I, I'm just confused. That's a very good question, and it's got a very... It could, it could be a short answer, or it could be a long answer. I'm going to try the short one. Okay. Um, <laughs> blues came first, I think. Yeah. It's, it's a lot... It's been around a lot longer, and jazz definitely is influenced and comes from blues, but jazz is harder and more complicated. It is. But to play the blues, you got to have a lot of a lot of heart. You can't get too complicated. you just got to be from the heart, and that's with all music, so... Yes, that's my rambly answer. Oh, um, did you want Mr. Socks have? Um, how long, or what's your favorite song? That you've that I've written? Oh, well, that's a good question. I don't really have a favorite. Um, I, it's kind of like anything. It changes day to day. Did you have a question? <laughs> Oh. 
I think, how old was I when I decided I wanted to be a musician? I was about, I was probably in high school. I, I liked it a lot, and I didn't really like anything else as much. You have a question? Football? My favorite instrument? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> well, let me think. <laughs> um, actually, these days, I really love playing the guitar, but my main instrument is the piano. So I go back and forth between guitar and piano and saxophone. We have, all right, can we have another big hand for Nora Jones joining us? Okay, this is the last tune of the evening, and what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do a song from my last album called Chasing Pirates. Do you guys like pirates? Yeah. Arr, everybody go, arr, arr. I love being at the Liberation Living Room so much. I love the music, I love the discussion, I love the people. It's one of my favorite places to be. Yeah. Ah, oh, love. Isn't it funny how we can love, like, people and music and, you know, eating salmon <laughs> and love all that stuff? We, it seems like we need another word, like, more words. There's only the one word. That is so true. Love is a hard-working word. Yeah. I mean, I think that's why people make millions of songs about love and make art about love. We only have one word, so it needs extra explaining. I wonder what our other friends would say about love. Well, let's go find out. Let's do it. All right, let's do I it. I love you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, love means um, being together. Like you love your family and your friends and the people that, um, that passed away. I love playing with Legos. 
I want to play dorms. <laughs> you love your mom and dad. I think love is is all about giving thanks. I love pie.